Desmos is a transformational math tool that's changing how high school math teachers approach delivering the curriculum. When I first stumbled upon Desmos, I couldn't believe that what would have taken over 20 button presses on the TI-83 could be done in just a few clicks and then offer an opportunity for students to truly explore mathematics on their own terms. I was sold. Since then, Desmos has released so many great features like Custom Activity Builder and Desmos Made Activities like Marble Slides that spark student curiosity and make exploring math exciting, just like it should be. Now while I've been spending most of my time working with elementary classroom teachers for the past 18 months, I'm still loving the potential for using Desmos Custom Activity Builder with concepts in younger grade levels. For example, Instead of showing the Counting Candies activity on the projector alone, I now have a way to allow every student an opportunity to engage in the task and connect with their classmates. In Grade 9, when I'm ready to springboard from distance time graphs to parallel and perpendicular lines, I'm able to take the walkout task to new territory while allowing the student to remain in the driver's seat. For example, if I were to add a new slide to Activity Builder, Add a screenshot of the scene from the video and include a Desmos generated graph overlay on the screenshot, as well as some sliders for the general equation for a slope y intercept form of a line. Students can explore to find other equations of lines that look to be parallel and compare with their peers. Don't forget that we can hide all assets preloaded by the teacher to keep things clean and simple on the student screen. Once students have had an opportunity to engage in mathematical discourse, I can then show them an overlay of the graphs other students in the class came up with to lead us to a solid consolidation discussion about the topic. Finally, the last feature that often goes unnoticed is the value that test mode provides for students writing classroom assessments as well as high stakes standardized tests in certain states and provinces. After doing some investigating, I was pleased to learn that our Provincial Standardized Test Administration and Accommodation Guide described provisions that allowed for the use of Desmos Test Mode here in Ontario, and I've been active in mobilizing that knowledge through my colleagues in other districts. While Desmos has allowed me to create memorable math moments in my classroom and in the workshops I lead, I feel like I'm just scratching the surface. I'm hopeful for the opportunity to connect with so many like-minded individuals and to sharpen my skills this summer through the Desmos Fellowship Program.